What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about everything Final Four Preview. Elite Eight happened this past weekend. We're going to dive right in into those matchups and talk about next weekend's amazing 2021 Women's National Lacrosse Championship. Let's do it. All right. Let me start off first by saying that I have been one to be super vocal on Twitter, on Instagram, on social um, about the staggered starts of the games. Um, and I still don't really understand. Um, I know a lot goes into it, the NCAA, the media, the schools involved, but whoever's involved in those decisions, the committee as well, the selection committee, we've got to be better. We can't have a 12-1-2-3 o'clock game for the Elite Eight top four top eight matchups um, and expect that to help us grow our game. We've really got to be better in that area. However, despite all of that, the four games that we watched were absolutely amazing, even if you're having to click through one after the other. First game of the day, Stony Brook, Carolina. Um, Stony Brook gave Carolina a run for their money. They were actually up, I believe, 11 to 9 with like 10, 12 minutes left. Uh, Carolina turned on the Jets, uh, scored the last five goals of the game, including a sick Jamie Ortega clip. Um, I don't know how she did that. I'm really excited to play with her at US in a couple weeks. Um, but they came out victorious. They are taking on BC, who, thro who uh, ended up throttling Notre Dame. Uh, that's a team, or those te two teams had met twice previously, uh, twice or three times previously, this season's a blur, um, this season. And it had kind of gone either way. This day, uh, BC stood tall behind eight or nine goals behind Charlotte North um, and just took care of business. That's a team who has been to the Final Four the last three years. They know what it takes to get there. And when the game's on the line, they produce. So that's going to be a BC Carolina matchup in the Final Four again. Last time, BC won in overtime thanks to a Sam Apuzo goal. Um, this, this time, I think Carolina has the edge just with their superstar team but they showed yesterday that they can be vulnerable. So that's gonna be an awesome, awesome matchup. Um, if I had to bet, I'm thinking UNC will win, um, but I do think BC will give them a run for their money. All right, other side of the bracket, uh, the number two seed Northwestern took care of business against Duke. They found themselves in a hole, I believe seven to one, six to one, early on in the first half, uh, but then they decided to show up and play and show uh show duke who who really deserves to go to the final four they won in an outstanding fashion dominating all over the field uh, dominating the draw um behind izzy skeins again remarkable performance she's somebody who finishes she finishes well she finishes in a multitude of different ways um she is so incredibly good um and also great performances by lauren gilbert and lindsey mccone as well on the offensive end so they are heading to the Final Four again. B uh, BC, Northwestern, and UNC all return to the Final Four again. Uh, the, they were in the last championship. They're there again. Northwestern will be facing Syracuse. Syracuse took on Florida. Um, it was pretty close there for a while, um, but, they, but uh, the Orange slowly, slowly started to pull away thanks to great play in cage by Asa Goldsock, thanks to freshman Emma Ward, who has been phenomenal. Um, her stepping up all over the field, having a career day, and the Tyrell sisters doing what they do best and putting the ball in the back of the net. So it'll be a Syracuse Northwestern showdown. That's going to be a repeat of um, a few years ago's semifinal where Syracuse came back and won and over or and lost rather. Um, Syracuse played Northwestern in the championship and lost. Um, but that will be one where these teams have met before. They've met on the big stage, not for a few years now, but that's going to be a very offensive packed game if I had to bet. Thinking about who will win that game, I'm going to bet Northwestern. Um, they just dominate the draw. They just have a ton of weapons on the offensive end. Um, and I think Syracuse will give them a great run. Um, but I do think we're going to end up having that UNC Northwestern showdown like we pretty much all fans have been wanting all season long. And so for that natty, um, if it's UNC Northwestern, that is going to be one competitive game. Both of their coaches have won national championships. They've been there before. The people on their staffs have won national championships. Um, it's going to be a powerhouse packed game. Um, offensive firepower, 
great defenses, very different defenses. Northwestern plays a zone. UNC plays uh, plays man-to-man. -man. Um, both of them do incredibly well offensively, have stars across the board. Um, I think that's going to be a one-goal game, two-goal game. I don't anticipate a blowout at any stage. Um, I'm going to bet Northwestern, but honestly, that is a total toss-up. It could be anyone, and it could be any of the four teams, really. They're all very talented, and they've proven that they deserve to be on this stage. So I'm pumped for Final Four weekend. Um, it's going to be in Towson, hopefully great weather. Um, wishing best of luck to all the teams, all the staffs, and thank you for providing us with so much incredible lacrosse to watch. Um, it's been amazing. Wow.